Hi, Leopard readers. Mrs. Mueller here with Chapter 10 of A Boy Called Bat. A very long day. That was right. It was a long day. The rain ha that had been threatening came, and after they ate lunch, the students pulled on their rain gear to splash in the puddles. Bat did not like to get wet. He didn't like it at all. It made his clothes feel sticky and itchy and uncomfortable. Mr. Grayson knew that Bat didn't like to get wet. So even though the saw weight school philosophy said that students should go outside, rain or shine or snow, he asked Bat, would you like to spend recess helping me clean baby cakes enclosure? Yes, said Bat. Mr. Grayson got a trash bag and Bat scooped the old straw into it. Then they laid out a fresh batch of straw. It smelled like summertime and sunshine. Baby Cakes hopped over to the straw and sniffed it. He, she looks happy, Mr. Grayson said. She looks exactly the same as she always does. Bat answered. Mr. Grayson laughed. Grown-ups were always laughing at things that Bat didn't think were funny, but it didn't bother Bat very much when Mr. Grayson did it. Julio, a fourth grader, who everyone said was a natural athlete, came into the classroom. Mr. Grayson, he said, Principal Martens wants to know if you're still going to teach yoga. Sure, sure, Mr. Grayson said. Tell her I'm all ready to start. Then he said, Julio, I think you've grown a foot since the last time I saw you. Julia shrugged. Not that much, he said, but I've grown an inch since winter break. I'm not surprised, Mr. Grayson said. That was three months ago. Bat thought about that as he followed Mr. Grayson to the yoga room and as he sat on his mat in butterfly pose. Three months, he guessed. Could be a little bit of time or a really long time, depending on who you were. For instance, a monarch butterfly born in the summer lives only about six weeks, so four months would feel like forever. But a monarch butterfly born in the winter might live for eight months. So four months would just be half of its life. And if you were a boy with a skunk kit that you were only allowed to keep for one month, time was sure to pass much, much too quickly. Back considered telling Mr. Grayson about the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. But the teacher was busy unlacing his orange high tops and getting ready to lead the yoga in group. He decided he would talk about monarch butterflies with Mr. Grayson later. And there's Mr. Grayson getting on his shoes. You see that little step? But the right later never happened. After yoga, they went back to the room for reading circle. After reading circle, they worked on their volcano projects, which Bat had not been looking forward to. Groups of four kids had to work together to build a volcano. Mr. Grayson called it collaborative art. Bat did not like collaboration. He liked to do things himself. That way, if something didn't turn out the way he wanted it to, there was no one else to be mad at. And if he wanted to take, um, take it apart and start over, no one could tell him not to, but Mr. Grayson wouldn't let that be a group of one. The problem was that no one else in the group seemed to care as much as Bat did. Three times before 2.45, when class was finally over for the day, Bat's group said, Mr. Grayson, Bat won't let us help. I don't need help, Bat told Jenny when she complained for the second time. It's a group project, she said. You have to let us help. Israel, who was in Bat's group, kept asking him all kinds of annoying questions like, hey Bat, do you think that lava is red enough? And Bat, can you pass me the paste? Bat ignored the lava question, but about the paste, he said, glue, looks, glue works better than paste. The paste gets all weird and flaky when it dries. Okay, said Israel. Pass me the glue then. I'm using the glue, Bat said. Things would go much more smoothly, Bat thought, if the other kids would stop asking questions and interfering. 
and just let him get on with the job. Now, by the time Miss Kiko rang the end of day bell from the hall, Bat's left eye felt twitchy. All he wanted to do was climb into mom's car and go home to his own room. But when he walked outside, he didn't see mom's burgundy station wagon. Instead, he saw dad's yellow sports car and he remembered with a heavy sigh that today was an every other Friday and he wouldn't get to see his own room or the baby kit for three long days. If that were a mayfly, he wouldn't even live that long. Thanks for reading with me. Keep reading.